is alone. Now, Jenny wants feedback on her plans, so she emails her instructional calendar to her special educator and drops her weekly plans off in her principal's inbox. But by the time her, they get back to her, it's too late. She's already taught those lessons and moved on to next week. That's frustrating, right? So, so this is John. John is Jenny's principal. And John is about to spend the next six hours of his Friday evening walking between 30 classrooms and leaving 250 sticky notes on lesson plans. Now, by 9 p.m., John realizes there is no way he can finish. So he grabs a bite to eat, leaving half of his teachers without feedback for the week. Jenny and John are clearly working hard, and they want to collaborate. So why are they planning alone? This is the lesson planning valley of despair. <laughs> Jenny is on one side and John the other, and they're just sending plans back and forth. And that's not working. They need to move themselves to new ground. So what if Jenny could plan her lessons and John could comment on her lessons in the same place? And what if that platform were designed by educators specifically for schools that want to collaborate? This is Jenny's seventh and eighth grade history plan book, but she's going to focus on eighth grade for now. She zooms into a day and starts working on a half-finished lesson. She's going to begin by attaching a file from her Dropbox to her group reading activity. When she's done that, she's going to scroll up and decide she wants to add standards. She searches through all of her history standards and the entire Maryland Common Core, finding the ones she wants, attaching them to her lesson, and making this interdisciplinary. Now, she zooms out to her week, and she realizes there's no way she can teach all of this on Monday. So she's just going to take this activity and drag it to tomorrow. So she forgot. This is Labor Day, so she bumps all of her lessons down by one day, marks her day off, and adds a note. Now, when John walks in, he can see all of his teacher's plans in one place. He clicks on Jenny's lesson, and he decides that he's going to add a comment to her group reading activity she was just working on. And she's immediately emailed about it. In fact, anyone from her school can collaborate with her whenever they want. So, Vanita, her special educator, decides that she wants to differentiate this activity with Jenny. And her idea is type pop up on Jenny's screen while she types. So Jenny and John and Vita are collaborating in a way that's never been possible before with email and lesson plan binders. Speaking of which, if you love email and lesson plan binders, don't come talk to us. But if you want to join the thousands of teachers that are changing the way their schools collaborate, come find us. We're a common curriculum, we have the big yellow sign, and we want you to know that lesson planning doesn't have to be loved anymore. Thank you.